machines are full of utility stitches, like mending stitches and bar tacks. Touch the stitch menu and go to the menu 1.4. It says eyelets and bar tacks. Then you'll notice that there are eyelet stitches one through four, mending stitches five and six, and then we get into the bar tacks. So as you pick a bar tack, you will just notice that you can actually control how long you want it. So if you want it longer or shorter, let's just see what it looks like just by stitching. It's just gonna go ahead and stitch down back and a zigzag over the top of it. How easy is that? Whether you need to just secure an area where you know a lot of weight is going to be pulled down onto um, maybe a purse handle or a corner of a pocket. Add that little reinforcement. It just did down, back, and then almost like a railroad track over the top of it. But not only just a bar tack, we've got decorative bar tacks. So same thing. They're all meant to just stitch out one time. So after you do these, you kind of know how big they are. That one is going to be 22 millimeters long. So you can just be prepared for that. It, uh, when we talk about sewing out our decorative stitches, don't forget to sew out some of these unique utility stitches that can actually be what um, can actually be decorative too. So we have other stitches, uh, nine and 10 can all be bar tack decorative bar tacks for you to enjoy.